It's 5 o'clock somewhere. It's 5 o'clock. The last fifth o'clock happy hour here in the garage, we hope. We hope. <laughs> yeah, never say never. Never say never. So we thought we'd widen out the shot a little bit, show you what kind of the digs we're working with here in the valley, including quite a bit of booze. <laughs> yeah, not doing bad here for the, uh, the, the, the garage bar. We are calling on everybody at home who's watching to share with us a picture of them and us in the background. Maybe you guys are sipping on uh, something non-alcoholic, alcoholic, doesn't matter. Let us know, facebook.com slash group slash KTLA5Live. Post it right in the group and we will share it at the end of the show. And without further ado, here to walk us through a punch bowl that will sure to please on Super Bowl Sunday, Lynette Marrero. Hi. There she is. Hi, Lynette. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, we, your Instagram is drinks at six, but we are talking quite a bit about Terra Mana as well. Lynette, where do we start? What are we doing today? Okay, so everyone has a lot to do on the big day. So the best thing to do is to have a large format cocktail. So the first thing we're gonna do is add our sugar. So one and a half okay. cups of sugar into our bowl. We are doing this fun thing called eyeballing it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, I That's like good. I had in that little jar. A mason jar is pretty great for that. So cute. Ooh. We are gonna do a little bit less. I think we're gonna less. half your recipe, otherwise it would fall. It would come out of our cute little pitcher. And here. I won't be able to wake up no until worries. Sunday. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Next thing you're gonna do is pour in the um, the tea because we want the tea to start help melting the sugar. Okay, so we have some just classic black tea. Lynette, while you're walking us through this, what is your inspiration and how do you come up with? Because uh, we asked. You know, you, there's a tequila drink that everyone goes to called a margarita, but what if we wanted tequila yeah. and to do something different? So how did you come up with this one? Well, this one, it's kind of, you know, grapefruit and tequila, like Palomas, goes so beautifully together. But also, um, you know, you have the tea notes, which are going to be really refreshing and, and bright on the big day. So you want to just kind of, I was thinking about the Reposado. The Reposado has a little bit of you know, oak notes from it, resting it in the barrel. So that way the Terramana really goes really well with kind of some of the notes. Next, we're gonna add our 12 and a half ounces of our lemon juice into our, you guys have a pitcher. Yeah, I have this giant bowl, which is good because I'm, I'm expecting a, you know, quite a few friends. <laughs> yeah, that bowl is a huge, yeah, that's, that's good great. For tonight, tonight, I hope. Um, also, and then, I like wanna I said, say, we're gonna add the grape, yep. Oh, I, I want to say that I am a, a huge fan of yours, and I've watched your master class, um, and you taught me how to make drinks during the pandemic, um, and I have become a full-fledged alcoholic, but <laughs> I won't say that that's your fault. You just had a horse to the water, and he drank the whiskey. But, but um, we have made drinks in here before, and one of the most great things that I think that you uh, you did you taught people in master class is that you start with the less expensive or least expensive ingredients you put exactly. the booze in last so you don't <laughs> screw up so that makes a I'm lot of sense I'm waiting for that terramana as the last thing I'm going to put in there because I do not want if I mess up I can fix it right so we're going to put right. 50 ounces of grapefruit juice in here so again this is just kind of adding that sort of Paloma vibe we're going to have this nice. mix all in and you're gonna have that beautiful flavor. Uh, the Reposado, I love in this instead of the Blanco, um, but you could use the Blanco as well. Like I said, I think with the tea, it just brings out some of those beautiful notes of the rested Reposado. Now we're gonna go ahead and add the Terramana, right? So you're gonna okay. go ahead and put a full, I'm gonna put a full bottle because I have the biggest punch bowl on the planet. Yeah. You're probably oh, gonna boy. fill it uh, <laughs> go about halfway between the empty space in your pitcher. Okay. Split the yeah, difference and then here. the other half, yes, exactly, will be your festive okay. bubbles. And, you know, bubbles, you can use um, a Prosecco, a sparkling wine, or champagne if you'd like. And just okay. another quick tip, if you're making a big punch bowl like I am, I kind of use these containers to make big pieces of ice that I can Ooh. put in my punch bowl. Ooh. Yeah, see, she's got some deli containers, and you can have this nice big ice in your punch bowl that is pretty impressive. And... You know, if you don't have a punch bowl, you can always use one of the big, uh, big oh. day sort oh, yeah. of boards. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's always a way to get around it. <laughs> oh my okay, gosh, so now, those remind me of two that's things. All, 
<laughs> high school sports and college. Not sports. Yeah, exactly. I thought it, 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 people might have it laying around. And then I see we're going to pop the pop the bubbles. Okay. And I'm then gonna we're going to pour to... that in. Okay, but can you walk us through? Because he wants to savor it. I, can, I know how to do it, but and who I'm knows what will scared. happen. It doesn't, doesn't always work. Okay, Here we go. I'm Ready? Terrified. Just find the, find the seam. Yep. Find the seam. Uh, I, don't think, just... I don't know if it's cold enough. <laughs> mm. I'm like in the line of fire. Try That's why we got a backup over here. Let me try this one. Are you Stand sure? By. Yeah, I usually do this and it impresses people. So who, who knows? Well. Oh, I'm terrified. No, I'm it's watching. usually not that big of a deal. But I think well, it has I'm to be. I'm happy you can't saber Terramana because I'd be really afraid you just would slice the whole thing <laughs> So off. you find the seam and, and then <laughs> make it Yeah, you slip. do the seam and then the back of the knife usually you use. But I, feel, exactly. I don't think it's. It's got to be really cold, doesn't it? To be honest, no. I like using uh, one of those flat beer openers because I feel oh, more yeah, confident. Cool. The flatties, they are like actually really useful for her. <laughs> ah, I don't think it's going to happen. Confident. Open it. <laughs> okay, we'll just, just pretend to be it. impressed. Oh my gosh, I was so impressed. Oh, I did it. I did it. I did it, but I broke ah! the top. Yeah, I knew it. I knew <laughs> Yay! Yay! It's <Woo>! going out. <laughs> Last I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna garnish with some uh, lemon wheels and grapefruit wheels because I have this oh, big punch bowl. So pretty. Um, so it can be really pretty as people are coming into the big game. I'm gonna serve mine. And with that ice, what's nice is you can prepare it a little earlier if you have a big thing, and and that way it's nice and cold and a little bit diluted by the time your guests show up. And then you have at the end of the day this beautiful, pretty colored punch, um, like that with the with the reposado, it has that really beautiful amber color, a little bit of, you know, pink, and it's just, it's really, really delicious. It's perfect for a gathering. You don't need to just have it for the big day. You can actually really enjoy this. I think throughout all spring, it's gonna be a great cocktail. Bring it back for Mother's Day. <laughs> for refreshing. Mother's Day, I love that. So do you have any um, suggestions for people who maybe want to feel like they're participating and can't have any alcohol or are abstaining or, you know, just any any good fancy tips to make people feel like they're not just popping a LaCroix because they're not drinking right now. Yeah, I would actually say you can use this recipe and uh, just maybe use, because uh, the tea and the grapefruit is gonna bring some really beautiful flavors together. Maybe switch out honey for the sugar and then top it with a really festive flavored sparkling one. Oh, that's great. I love that little tip. Uh, Lynette, where else can we go to find some of your, uh, other than masterclass? I feel like it's weird because I feel like I know what you're going to say because I've watched your masterclass. <laughs> um, <laughs> also, you, you inspired Andy up. to make an egg white drink that spilled all over the place. Yeah, yeah. I'm really not. I shouldn't be trusted around anything, <laughs> doing any kind of physical demos or even verbal ones. <laughs> well, 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 we'll yeah, where can people go to find more? Hour next time. Uh, you can find me on Instagram. Like I said, drinks at six. I keep things updated. You'll find out what I'm doing with Terramana. Um, hopefully some new adventures in the spring. And uh, next time we'll try the again. Yeah. Okay. okay. Real quick off the top of your head. What should we mix with some Añejo to make it uh, a nice refined quick drink? My favorite thing is a winter margarita. So I would do Terramana Añejo. Put a little bit of uh, like blood orange juice, which is like right now the perfect season. A little lime, throw in your like Cointreau orange liqueur, shake it up, and it's joy. Ooh, I love it. Winter citrus. So good. I know. Very good. <laughs> All right. We got to try it now. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, Lynette. Really appreciate Bobby, you. Cheers. Got to come get one. Glad I didn't explode that on my hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's delicious. Ooh. I thought it was going to be sour because of the lemon and grapefruit, and it's perfect. Mm, very tasty. No, it's super balanced. And like I said, the notes of the, the reposado really come through, but it's really refreshing delicious. Thank you, Lynette. We'll be right back on Five Live. Don't go anywhere. We're going to take a quick reset and check your Facebook post for Physical Happy Hour, where we can participate with you today. How exciting. No, I cannot. Thank you.